Hi, I'm Navneetan, the Senior Vice President, and I'm a Chief Information Security Officer and Head of IT. And so I've been in the industry close to 22 years, and really, you know, happy to contribute, happy to share my thoughts to you folks. See, the main stuff is uh, where we have to focus on the overall container workload or the protections, right? The people don't focus much on those areas. The cloud security post management play a very significant role from you know the end to end, where we need a lot of uh, focus and additions. If you focus on that, that itself it is uh, you know the amazing one. The second one is uh, from the end to end item, right? Identity access management uh, across organizations, which play a very significant role, uh, which will give a complete control, right? Uh, so in, in current scenario, it's very difficult to get know this or this understand. How many vendors, uh, maybe if you take any organization, how many vendors they have it, each vendors, how many employees are there, and each employees where and all they have access and what level of uh, depth of access they have it. It's a little bit challenge, right? That's why this identity access management play a very significant role from end to end to add values so, and then take it forward. Second one is, of course, the container security. And third, very important parameter is, of course, the API security. Because the API security is the one just where it is playing very significant role. Uh, looks like they are from the external organization, but it is not the case, right? Uh, really, they are uh, just with like, you know, it's a one go, they are pulling uh, you know, all the information from, you know, the end to end. That's what it is making. And fourth one, just I can take where we have a holistic risk assessment, like risk management uh, across the organization. We should not go only on specific to the IT department. Really, we should focus on this entire integrations from into, so that the entire supply chain will be you know, taken care. Of. Uh, that will be the, you know, the value additions. Then, of course, the fifth one, uh, integration of your incident management to the change management. Uh, that will be the value additions, right? Uh, because if you take an incident, like what is the outcome? What is the value additions? And what exactly we are going to you know, add values so uh, play a significant stuff. So that standpoint, really, just if you wanted to understand how the uh, incident management is converted into the change management, the change management to be a value addition for the respective department as well as uh, you know, the respective organization. Uh, you know, moreover, just we have a lot of stuff. We have achieved uh, the many stuff, but however, we strongly believe uh, continuous uh, improvement is the key stuff, right? Uh, that's the way just keep, will be keep moving, keep pushing the bar to move ahead and then add values. That, that standpoint, just we are trying to make it as a continuous redeeming uh, from the external. Even though we have a bug bounty program, but just we want to make sure that uh, where our internal infrastructure, external infrastructure is well secured. Uh, organization as individual, it is always it's a great. But when you're connecting to the uh, multiple vendors, multiple organizations, that's a way. Uh, where the flaw or the where the you know issues come into the pictures, so uh, where which may go wrong, uh, which may lead to the major disaster, right? So that angle, right? Really, we have uh, given many items. One is of course uh, redeeming. Then of course, just where we are connecting, uh, you know, the change management, incident management, and which may lead to the uh, you know the bigger change, right? And uh, if anything goes wrong as of the incident, the incident we do the analysis. If anything required, definitely. We will adapt at the bigger level of uh, you know, the change. It's not just uh, we are connecting dots uh, that make sense and that add values from you know the end to end. For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.